It may not mean nothing to y'all Understand nothing was done for me So I don't plan on stopping at all I want this shit forever, man, never mind, never mind Shut this shit down in the mall And Sunday, girl, she the one for me And I ain't even planning to call I want this shit forever, man What it do, T-Squad? It's your girl, Keisha, a.k.a. Color Me Pink And I'm here with a new All T All Shade video So you guys know that SWV and Escape, the Queens of R&B, season one of their reality show has wrapped up. It wrapped up the week before last. And the girls are still cutting up. The girls meaning Latasha. I don't know why Latasha is still out here doing interviews, but lo and behold, she still is. And she continues to make excuse after excuse after excuse. And now... She is blaming Mona Scott <laughs> for the discord in her family. Take a look at what she had to say in her latest interview. The first question is, will you do another? Is there going to be a part two of this reality show? It's not going to be part two for me. Mm. Not, no, I mean, when you come and you say two super groups are going to be celebrated and it does not end that way. Like you got everybody beefing on social media. The nerve of a black production company with Mona Me coming in and not celebrating black women. It's just tearing down. And the whole time, out of seven women, I was being attacked every single day. So it's just that thing for me. Like, when you say you're going to do something, we should be able to do it. And I think the fans have been slighted, you know. And shame on her. Shame on the productions for doing that. We didn't get to a tour. We didn't get to music. I said, did I have reservations? Of course I did. But when she started to say, hey, we're going to celebrate y'all. Y'all going to do a tour. We're going to talk about how you, you know, do a show. How you got to do the wardrobe and the music. I'm like, that's beautiful. Because sometimes you do have banter back and forth with mm -hmm. that. But when you come in and I'm being attacked every day and it never got to the music, it's like, what was this all about? Mm -hmm. And not, none of the things that happened until we started filming. None of the craziness. Mm -hmm. So it's like, was it was a setup? What do we do this for? Yeah. I'm definitely a part of this game. I created the name. I'm, I'm, that's the mothership. Mm -hmm. That's where I come from. I will never forget where I come from. Mm -hmm. But it's time for me to do music. I've mm -hmm. always wanted to do music. I know Candy didn't want to do music because she always felt like if we didn't surpass what we did in the beginning, then don't do it. But when I'm doing music, it's never predicated on sales. It's because mm -hmm. I'm passionate about what I do. Mm -hmm. So the other girls was like, no, we, you know, don't fall victim to what she's saying. I, I want to do music. So that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But this lady is deranged. She is absolutely deranged. Like she refuses to take accountability for anything that she has done. Like it is so weird to me. Like you would think she would either just be quiet at this point or just tell the truth. Let everything die down or tell the truth. Be accountable and tell the truth. But no, little mama just say, I'm going to deny, deny, deny until I can't no more. And it's just simply ridiculous at this point. Like you're digging yourself an even deep, deeper hole. How did the album do when it came out? Did it come out on Good Friday like they said it did, child? Did it sell? What is the numbers? That's what I want to know. Like, what is going on? Like, girl, now you sitting up here trying to blame Mona. Mona could only show what was given. Mona wasn't the one that told Tamika to put you on blast. Tamika put you on blast because you continue to be a snobby, egotistical diva. That's why. You're a mean-spirited person, you're nasty, and you have yet to learn your lesson. And you would think that this would have humbled you, but it hasn't. So the spanking that God got for you is going to continue to get worse and worse and worse until you show remorse and accountability for what you have said and done, girl. Like, just stop. Nobody likes you. Nobody sees it for you. Nobody believes you. You are now and forever deemed a liar. Like everything about you is just a facade at this point. And I really wish that you would just crawl back into the hole that you came out of Alvin, the chipmunk. Like, please, please just have several. Everybody is sick of you. Everybody, including Tammy Roman, who got into the comment section on the neighborhood talk where I found this clip and even she had a lot to say. Tammy commented and they pinned her comment. That's how good it was. She wrote, at some point, 
you have to step back and say, number one, I'm sorry. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. How hard is that just to say I'm sorry? My sister didn't know about the checks. I was in a tight spot. My husband set up a hustle and I didn't oppose. <clears throat> Period. Number three, I can make payments to pay you back. <laughs> but no, nah, they got it like that. Remember? Mm -hmm. She up here got chefs and security and uh, aerobics instructor, a wigologist, makeup artist, nail tech, assistant, 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 a publicist, a manager. You got $30,000 to pay her back. Ain't no payment arrangement. Uh-uh. No. Nah. Number four, I really don't like candy and she doesn't care for me and that's okay, but we made history together and I'm professional enough to make this bread now. Period. Everybody ain't got to like each other. As long as y'all can be cordial enough to handle business and do what y'all got to do, make it do what it do, baby. Number five, I did the show to use as a platform for my solo project. I've seen Love and Hip Hop. I knew what time it was. I mean, we all know that you use not only the show, but you use your band members and the group to get where you want it to be. And it backfired because God don't like ugly. Mm. Number six, my husband cheated and I'm going to stick beside him. Period. And that's fine. Don't nobody want Rocky but you and whatever dummy out here that is willing to sleep with Beetle Belly. Don't nobody want that ugly ass man. Number seven, God blessed me with escape. So I'm going to honor that journey and compromise for me is I won't sing on the overly sexualized songs, but who can I run to is a thumbs up. Girl, she don't care about singing them overly sexualized songs. She don't care. She don't care at all, honey, because when this gospel career goes kaplunk, which we already know that it has, she going to go running herself right on back over there with her tail tucked between her legs trying to sing, cast kick just kick it but once again i think they just need to kick her out the group period period point blank and going on about their business because you shouldn't be able to cut up and do the things that you've said and done and steal from folks and lie on folks and get away with it why reward bad behavior absolutely not number eight my gospel album title is let he without sin <laughs> tammy you are ignorant Number nine, I'm going to stop doing interviews. I mean, Jesus the Christ, shut up. Shut it up and shut it up now. Let it go. Please, girl, let it go. Even Funky Don Eva got in the comment section was like, at Tammy Roman, exactly. Nothing no more, nothing less. Even look at Dustin from uh, my favorite podcast, The Friend Zone, was like, no accountability whatsoever. Like, this girl is just delusional. She's a dimwit. She's psycho. She's insane. There's something wrong with her. She needs Jesus. She needs bless all. She needs to be baptized, Christianized, <laughs> biblicalized. She needs to be all the lies, child. She needs to go somewhere, get help, um, go seek help on how to not be a liar okay and a manipulator and a user and a moocher okay she needs to get out of that toxic relationship that she in she needs to repent honey she needs to go take several naps several seats honey fix her wigs fix her face fix her attitude okay child and get it together or forget it forever because this is just ugh. like leave mona scott alone she ain't did nothing she ain't did nothing because if things would have went the way that you wanted them to go, oh, you would have been singing on the praises, honey, but it didn't. And you're mad that you got caught out there. But blame yourself, love. Blame yourself. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Latasha and her latest antics and foolery down below in the comment section, you guys. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. Make sure you guys also tune in today at 6 p.m. Central Time for my interview with actress Christine Horn from Snowfall and BMF. It is such a good interview. You guys don't want to miss. Make sure that you support. Thumbs up that video. Like, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.